Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So this week I'm going to be talking about how to create the perfect learning environment. Uh, so if you're interested in this topic, then please keep on watching. Okay, so this week I'm going to be talking about how to create the perfect learning environment so that your students feel comfortable and safe to be able to learn, explore and take risks. And I've got five uh, suggestions here on how we can actually create the perfect learning environment. And I'm going to start off with number one, which is to try and have as much natural light in the classroom as possible. Now, I know that it's not always possible around the world. Sometimes we have to use the artificial lights, but we don't want our students to come into a classroom that's kind of dark and dingy. So using natural light when possible, and if not possible, making sure that you have nice bright light so that we have that right environment of brightness as we welcome students into the class. Now, the second suggestion I have is to actually play music. And we know that music can really set the mood and tone of learning. And I suggest some upbeat music, maybe some morning Mozart, ideally music that doesn't have lyrics, but if you have some kind of upbeat music so that as students are coming into your class, they feel happy and they feel energized by the learning environment. Now, the next most, I think, important thing about having a, the perfect learning environment is to set the temperature. And I know what it's like when we're actually in a classroom and either we're freezing or we're sweating. There's an optimal temperature for students to be able to learn. And I would say that's probably around 23 degrees Celsius. And that will allow students to be able to still move around and not sweat. And ideally, if you have fans in your classroom to get that airflow flowing so that you can have a breeze and you can have fresh air, maybe from even outside. Now, the fourth most important factor, I think, to have the perfect learning environment is where you place your desks. And so many of the desks that I see in classrooms around the world, in maths classrooms especially, are single file. And we want to be able to encourage that kind of collaboration. So desks, I think, should either be movable or they should be already be grouped in either groups of three to four, depending on the grade level that you teach. Younger years, maybe a think, pair and share is better. But as they get older, maybe groups of three is ideal, even extending to four, as long as all four students have particular roles and specific tasks to be able to complete in that group work. And then the fifth most important factor, I think, for the perfect learning environment is to have flexible fronts. So we want to try and move away from a front and a back of the classroom where there's a sage on the stage, but instead have flexible fronts where there is no front to the classroom and it's really about stations where students are and you're kind of floating around in the classroom. I talk about this in my book. There's a little section on having flexible fronts and if you're able to and even asking students to present their ideas from their group table so that that becomes the front and that means that the front actually moves depending on who's talking. So they're my five ideas to create the perfect learning environment. I would love to hear your suggestions. This is by no means an exhaustive list. If you've got suggestions on how you create the perfect learning environment for your students, then please put it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for joining me this week and I hope to see you next time.